problems with live steam injectors part 4. The water feed to the injector is now ok, the check valve is not causing a bottleneck, the piping is not blocked but it's still very unreliable. So what is the problem? I made this video using some of the edited clips from my series A Large Model Showman's Engine. I have, however, added some extra detail. It will all make sense by the end of the video. I'm trying really hard not to go into obsess mode. I need to know why it's not working though. I've had problems with the injector fitted to this engine ever since I got it. So much so that I phoned my friend David English and bought another one, because this is a Jubilee fittings injector. When I think about it, over the years I've only ever used Jubilee fittings injectors and never had any problems. This is an old number 8 injector, and I bought a new number 8 injector. And when I fitted the new number 8 injector to the traction engine, the problem remained. It was exactly the same as with the old one. I'm pretty sure that there is nothing at all wrong with these injectors, it is something else. I've redone the water inlet supply. The top pipe in this photograph is the steam pipe, and when I open the steam valve in the bunker, a high volume, large amount of steam comes out of this pipe. If you've been following this series, you'll also be aware that I modified the check valve. Originally it was causing a bit of a bottleneck, but it's not now. My diagnosis on this problem, helped by conversations with various friends and people in the business, caused me to come to the conclusion that the injector's capacity was too high for the boiler, and also the check valve is in the steam space, not in the water space. On this traction engine, as you can see in this clip, the check valves are quite high up on the boiler, and if the water level in the boiler was above the check valve, then there wouldn't be any point in injecting anyway. I should have realised what the problem was when I think back to when I was testing the steam pump, the boiler was almost full, and at that point I used the injector and it did work ok. A little bit too well though. A fountain of water shot up the chimney, the boiler was over full. The reason it knocked off here was the boiler was full. To make it worse, the check valve is quite near the steam takeoff to the injector. And when the number 8 injector starts to pump the water via the check valve into the boiler, it cools the steam that's been supplied to the injector. And I think this is what stops the injector from working. I spoke to my friend David English at Jubilee Fittings to inquire about a lower capacity injector. But unfortunately, the smaller injectors are designed for smaller pipe. A few weeks ago I was visiting my friends at the steam workshop and I looked at some injectors that were being made. These injectors are made by John Holroyd and they resemble a Penberthy injector which are the type that are normally fitted to traction engines. So I bought one and went over there a couple of weeks later to pick this up. And when I was there I noticed a traction engine that was a 4 inch scale traction engine with one of these fitted. The boiler on this traction engine was the same size and design as the one on my 4.5 inch scale traction engine, and John's injector worked perfectly on it. When it was ready, I was sent this short video showing it being tested. If it works as well as that of my traction engine, I'll be very happy. This injector is different to the Jubilee fittings type in as much as it's a one piece casting not a fabrication. My traction engine runs at a maximum working pressure of 110 pounds per square inch. That's quite a low pressure for a large traction engine, and you can see that it says LP on the cone at the top. I really do think this one will work, but I have a bit of plumbing to do. Plus, I'm going to fit an extension pipe to the check valve, which goes down into the boiler slightly. I have the kind of mind that's a little bit odd, and I have to know the reason why the number 8 injector, which works perfectly, did not inject properly. And I really do think it's because the steam is being cooled by the volume of cold water going into the boiler. I've made an extension pipe that screws into the check valve, and the idea of this is to make it so that the water from the injector goes into the water in the boiler, and not directly into the steam space which is quite near to where the steam for the injector is taken from. Once I fit the check valve, complete with this copper pipe, back on the boiler, 
I have a sneaking feeling that the number 8 injector will work. I will find out in due course. First of all, I need to screw this piece of copper pipe very tightly into the check valve. Out of the workshop and into the garage to see if everything fits, and of course it doesn't. The holes are not lining up with the studs properly. That's mainly due to the fact that the hole in the boiler bush is not exactly in the centre between the two studs, and the hole in the check valve isn't in the centre either. The solution wasn't too drastic. I stuck the pipe into the hole in the boiler bush and bent the check valve into the correct position. Then I enlarged the two holes in the check valve's flange to one drill size above what they were. I've actually fitted a couple of O-rings between the pipe and the body of the check valve. In a perfect world, this will work fine and there will not be any steam leaking. This is a test fit of the check valve to make sure that it sits OK on the boiler. Once I'm certain that everything fits OK, I will remove the check valve, make a new gasket and refit it. Then all I will need to do is refit the pipe from the injector to the check valve. When I replace the original injector complete with its secondary check valve, I'm going to connect the pipe to the injector end first. That should give it a bit of support underneath the engine. And once I've done that, I will then try and convince the check valve that it needs to accept the pipe at this end. When I finally manage to repipe the check valve to the injector, after fitting a new gasket of course, I will give the engine a steam test and you'll see the result. Stay safe, stay healthy, thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.